Alright guys, wanted to show you something I picked up today. This was at Garden Ridge and it was 75% off. It is a lamp post, as you can see. It's made of plastic, so it's really lightweight. And it's for it was for Christmas. It has like a, a banner that came with it, like with Santa Claus on it that goes right here. Um, it had a different light in here, but the light didn't work. Brains are falling everywhere. It's on the brains. Um, and, of course, I'm not going to use that, and I will probably rust it up. It's got a base on it, pretty good size base on the bottom. And it actually has a uh, plug uh, and, like I said, a, a, a bulb that went inside. But it didn't work, and it was 75% off. It was $12 and something cents. So, not bad for 12 bucks. It was normally almost 50. So, that was my super cool find for the day. Oh, yeah. I've been wanting a lamp post. Every haunt needs its own lamp post. Now I have one. Yay. I figure I'll do some of my videos like this in the black and white. It's kind of like an old zombie movie. <clears throat> All right, Ram at the Tall. Uh, you will hear his comment in the COC um, suggested just putting a layer of latex on the outside of the brain mold. Well, I don't know if we said on the outside, but on the mold, it could be inside or outside. It doesn't really matter. Of latex. So I went ahead and just coated this whole thing with latex. I'm going to let this dry tonight. Then I'm going to put another coat. Let that dry. Probably do another coat. Probably, you know, do three coats total. And then try to then peel this off, and it could be a um, brain latex brain cap that someone can wear for a costume. I think it'll work. And you will hear the other comments about the brain mold in COC, and I will try probably all of them. Uh, but this was something I just went ahead and did really quick. So. We'll let this dry, and we'll see how that turns out. That may be completely freaking awesome. And if it works, I'll do a full video of me coating it, doing another layer, and then peeling it, and that whole thing. So, awesome. Too awesome. That's too cool. Brains. Hello. There are zombies over here, somewhere, in this area. It's gonna kill him. <laughs> Alright, first comment, Emerald Gypsy Heart. Set myself a reminder for the chat on Thursday. I should be there. We are hoping to do a yard haunt or a small backyard haunt in 2012. Um, hope to see a few of the regulars from here and Troy's channel. Get your hunt on. Awesome. I'll be glad to see you there. Yeah, the squiggles art is awesome. Um, Dionysia 12. You could paint a layer of latex on the inside of the mold, let it dry, and then spray the gray stuff in the mold. Might help to prevent sticking. Yeah, and I actually tested that today on the, on the mold here. I put some latex in it, and it peels out pretty easy. So that is definitely an option. I may give that a try pretty soon. ABC Noise 2, business cards look great. Spent the evening watching the news channel. Thanks for sharing. Squiggle art is always good. I love Dr. I love Dr. Creepy. Uh, what about the silicone for the brains? You wouldn't really need to fill it all the way up. Electrocution? Wow, what did she do? <laughs> you know, she just got in that chair and was like, Daddy, look at me, and then went, uh, 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 uh. You know, I put that video of you in the electric chair on the video yesterday. You didn't know that. Remember when you got in the electric chair and you went, uh, 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 uh. I put that video on yesterday again. Isn't that funny? It's almost sleepy time. We have our pajamas on. JHMDF, since I was a bit late to the chat and missed that question, 
the hunt that really started it all for me was one right down the road from my parents' house, which they still do to this day. They have been doing it for over 20 years. Doing consistent videos would be a combination of the Bloodshed Brothers, Pumpkin Rot, for posting stuff on his vlog every day. Uh, and this one guy named Steven's Spooky Lawn. He <laughs> he. Uh, Ram at the Tall. Um, you can also use the brain mold as a mold for latex appliance as a head covering like the bald head ones uh, clowns use. Also went over to your new alternate channel and subscribed but it wouldn't let um, me set up the email notification part of it so I receive so I receive an email when up I upload stuff. I'll go look at my settings um, if, if that did it, that to anybody else let me know. And I'll go check my settings. Widowmaker Productions. What about coating your mold with the latex like you would if you were doing a plate mold? Then fill it with spray foam. Uh, and then he said again, I guess I should have read everyone else's comments first. Great minds. Think alike. Um, absolutely. Geyser463. Do I see a future as a modern artist? Oh, and you got me going in the direction I am after I found found your site before you um, before you started vlogging. You still are influencing me. Oh man, thanks, Geyser. That's awesome, man. So you actually found my website, I guess, and saw a bunch of my how tos. I haven't put a how to on there in forever. The vlogging kind of took over. Geyser four six three. I remember watching Doctor Creepy. Too bad he doesn't post anymore. Sad face. Yeah, I mean, he is really fun. If you guys don't um, already know about his channel, go look up Dr. Creepy, and you can watch all of his past videos. They're a lot of fun to watch. Joy's a gal. I tried the great stuff brain mold, but the detail wasn't great, although it is a brain, so it really doesn't have to be too detailed. The great stuff came out of the mold when you add the Vaseline, the only thing is, I wouldn't use it as jello mold after you use the great stuff. Um, oh, and thanks for taking pics of the zombie makeup for the ones that couldn't attend the Shadow of Palms chat or the other night. You bum. LOL. <laughs> I completely spaced out. I mean, I absolutely cannot believe I didn't take pictures or some videos of that. Haunted House 1408. Dr. Creepy is... Whoa, we got somebody about to go to sleep over here. Dr. Creepy is awesome. I remember his monster in the box and flying crank ghost tutorials blew my mind. His stuff blows my mind still when I watch it. It's, his, his tutorials are really good. Ember Pup. Dr. Creepy was the first Halloween YouTube video I watched. It was the flying crank ghost tutorials, so I made one. My first real prop. My first sub was to haunt a ween and he was my first subscriber um smiley face that is too cool and that is it and get your hunt on and she's gonna get some sleep on good night or good morning whichever it may be and this is my response to Lori Lee <laughs> Lori <Laura> Lee <clears throat> um I have watched The Walking Dead. I'm really horrible when it comes to watching shows on TV. I really want to watch Face. I wanted to watch Face Off all last season, and I missed every single episode mm -hmm. because I was either building a prop, or watching YouTube, or vlogging for YouTube. So I'm gonna record it for you this season. Are you? Yeah. Marshall recorded last season. I think he had it on there. Uh -huh. No. No. Yeah, last season all. Yeah, anyway, I mean, the yes, I've been looking at pretty much everything I can for inspiration for the zombie hunt. So I guess my answer is no. Um, but I would like to watch it. <laughs> they're going to think you're dumb. <laughs> uh, they already think I'm dumb, Wyatt. Okay? Psh, neighbors. We. You're the one who wanted to sing a song about me, you weirdo. I was on Fridays. Well, now you're going to let me tell the story. Yeah. On Fridays, 
he makes his hair into a really big like afro. Up here. It's really big. And he calls it Fro Friday. So Steve. So is yesterday on stupid. Friday when I saw his fro, he is I said, stupid. Fro Friday, Fro Friday. <laughs> Making a big fro on Friday. <laughs> I said, I'm getting ready for a Fro Friday. Which fro will I make? <laughs> Say bye, Say, Kirby. Get your hand on, Kirby. Say, get your hand on. Where my mom?